I look so weird. <laughs> hey, chosen ones. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Whoa, check it out. New York, Bronx, New York, 5 a.m. Well, it's 4.53 a.m. exactly. And we're 17 seconds into the video. If, we, uh, if we're being exact here. And I'm currently at 219th Street Subway Stop. If any of you are curious, I'm like 45 minutes away. Eh. Uh, depends on what time you're trying to head into Manhattan, but 45 to 60 minute train ride on the subway from Manhattan. So I actually don't go and actually don't go into the city all that often. Um, but I stayed up all night, um, actually listening to sermons and worshiping and like really feel more mature spiritually. I don't know how to explain it. I haven't like gone to church in like years. So that felt like I went to church. Even though it was just YouTube sermons, pretty cool stuff, man. Like, wow. I was like a little emotional. Like I feel like left stuff left me. Um, like any bad spirit, any like lack of confidence, anything of Satan. Like I commanded it out of me. I prayed on my knees. Like I was, I was praying like a dog for all night. I didn't sleep, uh, but I'll sleep later. I just want to be the first one at the gym. I want to be the first one at the gym today. I want to, I want to be the first one at the gym today. And I prayed for any uh, pain in my body to leave. Like, and I commanded it in the name of Jesus. I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, and I also got confirmation that I need to like, be a little bit more low key and not say so much. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can see, uh... wow, I haven't been able to see the, this is the first time I've seen the little dipper in like eight freaking months. Oh, I can't wait to get out of the city. OMG balls. OMG balls. I can't wait to get out of the city. Oh, I feel like so much more aligned and spiritually grounded just because I can see the little dipper right now. Wow. I guess I haven't been to the gym this early and usually the city lights are refracting, I think, on the sky or something at this time. Or I'm just usually not out this early, so this is like, wow. I wish I could show you guys. That's a beautiful reward for getting up early. Well, I never really fell asleep, but I'm just a night owl, and then like, and then I'll like, I'll sleep like later. But um, I had this like moment. I was like exiting the apartment, and I saw like several like two other girls like literally leave their apartment like right on the dock 4 45 a.m and she had her work uniform on i was like yeah i mean these like two other ba ladies that means badass by the way are like killing it killing it and you know what actually um when i was uh going into the city like pretty early, like three, two weeks ago or something for, oh, I was going, I was traveling to Connecticut. So I had to get to Grand Central first. Um, but I, I noticed that predominantly the people up at like 6am, like traveling, like commuting. Um, cause it's like a 5am in New York is like 8am everywhere else, you know, not to be like New York is so much better than everyone else. But I'm, I'm just saying there's like literally like 20,000 freaking people for like 10 miles or something crazy like that. Um, and so we're all just like you know, rat race here, but there's a lot more people that like work around the clock here. So there's just, it's just like, there's just more traffic at all times, but people generally start earlier here too. That's what I love about New York is that like early mornings are completely acceptable. That is one thing I absolutely love about New York because I'm such a morning bird, dude. I'm such a morning bird. Oh yeah. I'm going to go get my gym workout, yo. I'm going to go get my gym workout. I'm going to go get this gym workout. I'm going to get some rowing in. I'm going to get and I'm wearing like my lucky leggings because I'm going to do 2K race today because I'm feeling good. 
So I'm gonna do like a race with myself and try and break my PR. I'm so excited. You, I'm so ready for this. Oh my god, I'm so stoked. I'm glad there's like lots of people here now. Um, oh yeah, but most of the people I noticed when like traveling at 6 a.m. or whatever, like on that early early commute, it's mostly I saw a lot of a lot of females in like nursing scrubs, like scrubs, and um, and then I saw a lot of construction boots on the subway. So there's a lot of or construction men early, waking up early to go to work. Um, construction men up that early or like a lot of females, nurses is what I saw mostly. I like to like observe the city like at different hours because like you'll notice like different trends. So that was one thing I noticed on my way into the city like a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah. Um pretty cool moment too I'll share with you like I basically just want to try and glorify God like on this channel like as much as possible um but he told me through like another person on YouTube that I was like saying too much um so like I have to like try and like lay low a little bit like at least like revolving like my personal life type of thing like I can like talk about other stuff or whatever but like um like also like yeah I wasn't gonna go to the gym um but I was like up and like the TV was on and stuff and I always just keep it like pretty much like no volume but I just like keep it on for like visual background um, and then subtitles are on so I read the Spanish subtitles and like that's how I still like figure out what's going on um, but then there's like no noise so I can still play music type of thing um, I saw like two Planet Fitness commercials come on and I like I'm always up at night time and my roommate works night shift so I always have that alone time during that time how many times can I say time? <laughs> and, um, yeah, man, like, I was like, okay, cool. So God wants me to go to the gym because I was speaking a little freely, um, about the monitoring spirits and to be honest with you, frankly, being antagonistic about how, like, my roommate's like not, he's like, I just got the message from God that like, they're not, they're like freaking pissed. They're like mad right now about how I broke the monitoring spirits against me. And now that I know that what they've been up to, it's like, they're not happy. So let me get on this train and I'll restart filming when I get to Pelham Parkway, like 20 minutes, no big deal. But yeah, that's the update for now. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay chosen.